Hey, it's BGV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Room 3. A little puzzle game. Uh, a big puzzle game. This this is this one's quite large compared to the other ones. Uh, just to let you know, it's currently 11.01 p.m. at night, and I've been staring at screens all day. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'm feeling very, like, hazy. So this will probably be a chill episode, is what I'm saying. It's not, it's not gonna be like a... Although, what the heck am I gonna... How the heck am I gonna do that for, like, a puzzle game anyways? Uh, where the heck are we? What the heck? I don't remember being in a sort of greenhouse-looking thing. Tutorial, right-click to zoom out. I feel like we do a thing and then it puts me in a completely... Where am I? Yeah, I feel like... What the heck? What is going... Where are we? Yeah, I genuinely feel like we complete a level and then we continue and it's like, okay, now I'm going to put you in a completely different spot because we have a pyramid here. The only thing I think of is maybe, because again, I know that this one has like different endings, so maybe it's trying to get me to do the other endings. I'm not really sure. I'm just going to go ahead and plop this here though. We've got the book of your inventory object found a leather bound book. Uh, do we need a book for any? Oh, what's this? Do you slide perhaps? Looks like something maybe goes into this. Maybe something like slides into it or this like slides into something. Um, was that that one room it needed like the cube? And it also needs the book. Also, what is this? A small mechanism? A small... What the heck is this for? I feel like... Yeah, it's very weird. I feel like we complete a level. And then it's like, okay, um, let's pause here. But then it plops me in one of the random rooms around this, like, central area. Because now I don't even know where to go. There's so much stuff everywhere. Um, I want to go... I don't know. We'll just start clicking and hoping for the best. Like, what the heck is this room? What the heck? Oh, we did this already. This was like the starting, the very start of the room. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I, the only thing I can think of is just that there's some like secret ending shenanigans going on. And you need to do like a whole bunch of extra stuff in the background. I'm going to be real with you. I have no idea how to do that stuff. And I mean, unless it's pretty clear, I'm not going to be like spending an hour trying to figure out, you know, where everything is. This room, I feel like we genuinely have not even been in. Like, what is this? What is this room? Uh, did we read this? Another test passed with all colors flying, and now the time truly is at hand. I promise you answers and answers you shall have. Every soul is unique, and so must be every trap that snares it. An altar of belief, a tome of answers, a crypt of terrors. For A.S. is box full of demons, knowledge, power, sight beyond sight, all lies, all just bait in the trap. This house was to be yours had you failed, but you walked free of it and you had for all the rest. I am certain now that you are the one I have sought, the one who will find the center of the labyrinth, the one who will walk free of this very realm, the craftsman. Uh, okay, yeah, I don't remember coming into this room of my own volition, though. So, let's head back out here, and let's maybe go... So, what do we got? So, this is nothing... This is nothing. This is a new room, I'm assuming. This is our starting room. Oh, do these things on the floor matter at all? They have, like, different... These, like, things here. Trapezoids, right? Um, okay. I want to go back to that room with the book. With the big book. Because I feel like didn't need a book. Or am I mistaking that for something else? Like, have we been here before? I think we've been here before. Yeah, I... I must say, wait, have we? Have we done this? I feel like we haven't. I'm so confused. I've got to say, I, I definitely prefer the older style games linearity in terms of level progression. Because like if you, you know, take a break and then come back to it like this, it's just, it's very vexing. The drawer appears to be locked. No way this works, right? Oh, okay. It unlocked to the other... What? 
There's nothing in there. Whoa, what the? Oh, is this just a visual glitch? What the heck? Okay. So there's stains and they're going like directly to where I'm standing. And then what's this letter? We read this letter before. As you have discovered on your little adventures contained within the null is the power to transfer match across space and time. I've watched your cross I've watched you cross leagues and centuries just as some lesser individual might cross a street. But what of light years? What of aeons? You have you have barely even begun to dab its potential. I have charted a world not unlike our own, yet incredibly distant. It is the source of the nil. I have measured it, even seen it, but I cannot reach it. Not without your help. But first I must teach you how you must prove capable of learning. The craft. Yeah, I, I just, I feel like we did this, but then I also feel like we didn't. I don't know. All right, nothing there. We got the book and we got the thing. Um, why? So this opened up and it has nothing in it? Oh? Okay. That was weird. Did that just open the window? What did that do? Yeah, I'm very confused. I just, I, like I said, I would guess. Oh, okay. I would guess this is just dealing with the with another ending. That's my best guess. So then this is happening now. Um, north, east, south, and west. And then it's pointed up to the northeast. Whatever that means. I don't know. I'm getting in over my head. I just want to find the room with the... Um, with uh, the fortune teller machine. Can we even go back to that room? Because like otherwise we're just going to have these two inventory items that don't really do anything. Okay, so we've been all through here, so then what about straight ahead over here? What is this room? This might be the very room that I'm looking for. Ah, indeed. Yes, it is. Okay, so this is the room I'm looking for. So maybe maybe you complete these levels, and then the hub world is how you unlock, like, the secret ending or whatever. Okay, so this. Did this have a book on it? No, it's got the cube, and it's got an orb. So then what is the deal with this? Might just need this for, like, the next room yeah there's something going on here obviously I'm trying to think oh maybe no if we plug this in the book opens but there's nothing it's like just some random some random like ads for a movie for an old school film or some crap okay I'm trying to remember if there was anything else we could use these books for I guess we'll just move on because yeah I'm just a little too my brain's a little too sprawling at the moment in terms of focus. So we came, do we, so we came back and we, do we put the pyramid on? I feel like we put the pyramid on, then it, it opens this, but then we skip that if you like end the game right then and there. Maybe that's what happened. Cause like maybe it shows you this door opening if you don't end the game right then and there. All right. So got the letter, got another one of these things, which we have to power on another one of these things, which we have to power on. Some bricks over there, which are seem to be seem to be loose, so we might have to go over there. Got another one of these power stations. Alright, let's go over here and flip the switch. If I can even see the switch, it's kind of huh. It's not really letting me interact with the switch. So is this even gonna work here? Is this where it starts? I actually, I don't remember. Feels like this thing is not powered on. Minus to plus to minus. Okay. Um. So I can't interact with these. I can't interact with this. I can't interact with this. Isn't the first step typically to turn on the power? What's this thing? Hello there. It's a small steam engine, but it is not powered up. Okay. A small steam engine, but it's not powered up. It's connected to this green box and connected to whatever this is. Oh. Okay, and this isn't where the book goes, is it? Huh, I am quite vexed. I am quite vexed at the moment. So, we can't seem to interact with anything over here. What the heck is going on? There's like a little... little little tiny uh, gnome hut over here or something. 
There's something embedded in this tree. Yeah, why don't you grab it? All right. So that's a dead end. We got another gramophone here. Wonder what's on that record. I don't know. Why don't you pick it up and take a look at it, bro? And then we've got like a rotary phone over here. Okay. The latch is locking the dial in place. Okay, so just rip it off. Use your strength. Okay, I'm getting more confused by the second now, because cannon. every time we're supposed to turn on the power first, aren't we? But I cannot remember if we're supposed to, like, flip a switch and then go to the thing, because, like, it, yeah, it won't let me get closer to this. Uh... Well, now I'm super confused. I just don't have a starting point. That's kind of where I'm at. Because, like, before... It wasn't this thing, right? You get to power the things up and then you flip the switches. Yeah, it won't even let me... Won't even let me interact with the switches. Okay, we got busted bricks over here. Oh. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere, maybe. Hello there! What do we have in here? We can rotate. Okay, so we can make a keyhole, it looks like. Um, are we wanting to just do that, like, over here? So that we can go to the other side? I'm thinking so. That's why light's coming through, maybe? Problem is, we don't really have a key, though. So I think we're still kind of stuck a little bit. Let's go through here and see if we can't see the other side. Yeah, I don't know what you bring me over here for if I can't interact with anything. Okay, so now there's like what seems to be a keyhole. Maybe. I mean, I'm assuming the book's not for this. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm really curious why I can't just, like, turn on the power. So far, we've done everything without having to result to hints, which makes me feel really good. <sighs> I mean, I'm not, like... We didn't, like, start with this, right? It's, it's the power thing first. Okay, we can move this, but yeah, this is like activated last. Let me just reread re re -read this again, see if I missed a clue. Truly, is hand, I promise you answers. Answers you still have. Every soul is unique. It needs a new trap. To AS, that's what's trapped. trap. The house must be yours. Had you failed, you walked free of it. This one will find the center of the labyrinth. The one who walked... Okay, so it's just flavor, pretty much. Well, I don't know what to do. I'm at a complete loss. There's this... And this is the only thing we really have a clue for. I mean, I could use a hint. It is part of the game. But I, we've done everything so far without it. Like I said, I just need a starting point. Maybe we misread this. Let's head back in here real quick. Okay, so I can zoom out. But it looks like this is the only thing that's interactable. What what is the word for interact? Because like, I always say interactable blah, 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 as a joke. But like, it's got to be a word that means interactable. Okay, is there any other? I mean, yeah, you would just think it would be this, right? So you can go to it from the other side because there's not even any other options other than kind of making a keyhole. So I'm assuming that's correct. <sighs> but we don't have what appears to be a key. Okay. And then we've got this. A leather-bound book. I'm trying to remember. Was there anything... Hopefully it's not a mechanism here that I can actually interact with right now. It doesn't appear to be... I mean, it definitely seems like it, yeah, it like slots into something. Am I forgetting what it slots into? I guess we'll go double-check the rooms. Huh... Man, 
oh man, oh man, what could I be missing? Let's head back into the starting room. So this was the starting room, yeah? Because it had the... Yeah, it had like the simple riddle. But the question is, what is this? Why is this here? Maybe it's just that other room that um, we saw the, uh, yeah, with the clock. I mean, maybe that's just it. Maybe I'm thinking that's another ending, but that's actually what we need to do to progress. Uh, can I put the book back? Can't put the book back. We're only missing one more pyramid slot. Okay. So where do we come in from? Check that one, check that one. So then let's go back through here. Yeah, maybe there's something with this room that we're forgetting. Or at least that we have to do. All power seems to be shut off. I just realized that. Okay, so uh, yeah, all power seems to be turned off right now. And were the windows always open? Got a whole stack of books here. Why is the clock... Oh, the clock changed. That's interesting. Is this literally real time? Because it was northeast first. And I'm really curious as to like what's going on with this empty... Wait, what? Hello? A handle? Am I, li am I literally blind? Did I not see that? A handle. And it's got a cube sort of thing. Okay. I... That's... There's no way that was there previously. Oh, and it opens this. Interesting. What is this? July 30th, Maggie Cox was a charlatan. There is no such thing as a spirit medium. Everything she believed was a lie. I know this for a fact. I concocted the lies. How is it then that she alone can resist me? If she will not rest in the prison I have built her, I shall build one deeper still. Okay. I know you ain't just giving me like a piece of cloth. Okay, this thing has a key on it though. And it's got the same icon as this. What is going on right now? It almost seems like this, the time moved, and then that like spawned the handle in the drawer. But I don't know if that's the case. And then still, what is going on with like all of this, all these markings? Yeah, I swear there was nothing in this drawer, unless I'm crazy. Okay, hmm. I was really expecting more than that, because, like, what do we just need a letter for? It's got a key on it, though. What is the key? We can't turn it around. July 30th. Oh, man, this this level or whatever this is is really weird. All right. Well, cool. This is continuing to move now, isn't it? I feel like this is continuing to move. Okay, we'll come back. It's on the one, two, three, four. It's on the fourth slot now. All right. What? Yeah, because like we, uh, my significant other and I just played a game recently called TikTok: A Tale for Two. There was actually a way to move, like time, which we didn't realize for the longest time. And I'm wondering if it's, I'm wondering if it's something similar to that. Okay, this is where we started. We still have the book and we have the cube. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I wish I had a clue. I know I do. It's there. It's the hint system. I'm aware, but I don't want to use it. I want to feel smart. So let's go in here and take a big whiff of a nasty, dirty... Lark. Uh, wait. Oh! Okay. Right. Now we're getting somewhere. But what is the other... Okay, we got an escape room. 
Second day. Oh, is it an elevator? Interesting. Down or up? Uh, I guess we're down, right? So let's go up. Okay, I'd completely forgotten about that. Yeah, it's yeah. I I So, I'm somebody that like I really like Portal, for instance, and Portal 2 because you enter a test chamber, you have all of the elements there that you need to solve the puzzle. This game and that's how the room 1 and 2 were. This game is more like you have all these different rooms that kind of combine to have different, you know, sections of a puzzle. It's it's I wonder if people prefer... I mean, obviously, this game is very highly, like, uh, received. And for good reason. I mean, it's a very good game. But I do wonder how people that are fans of, like, the first two games kind of feel about that. Okay. What in the heck do we have in here now? So we got another one of these boxes. But we need to power them, right? I knew you would not disappoint me. You've proven yourself a worthy apprentice and now you stand on the threshold of mankind's greatest day i've not brought you here simply to bear mute witness to my achievements you have a role to play one more pivotal than you will ever know know that the breakthrough we now make together i could never have made without your vital contribution the craftsman well i don't trust the craftsman i mean if anything he's probably gonna betray us or some crap i would imagine Okay, we've got a Talisman Safe and Lock Co. Safe. Uh, does not seem... The safe looks like it's been here for decades. Yes, it does not seem to really be able to be interacted with. What is this? There's a track running along this banister. Okay. Let's go through here. Do we power things up now, or no? Does this breaker switch on? Okay, that's interesting. Um, yes, yeah, so all the power is just out now. Unless, because there's a wire going that way as well. So maybe we have to deal with that. We got some candelabras, we got this thing, which I'm assuming does not work. Oh, it does. Oh, so you power this on first. Okay, I couldn't remember if it was the switch or not. Okay, not good at these. Um, tend to just kind of move them around until they work, basically. But we'll see if we can't make something happen here. We can obviously use logic, but who wants to do that? Okay, so negative to positive to negative. Negative to positive... To negative? Is this an... Oh, do they not even have... They don't even have icons now? Seriously? Okay. Negative to positive. So positive is the last one. To negative. To positive. To negative. Okay, so that would just mean that this is negative to positive. To negative. Right? And then this is positive. Okay, I see, I see. Wait, why wouldn't that work, though? What? Negative to positive. Positive to negative. Negative to positive. Positive to negative. Maybe that's just not how. Maybe these have hidden properties. Okay. Well, my brain fizzles out for stuff like this. I am not good at these types of puzzles, that's for sure. So... We've been lucky with moving the... Correct. Switches into the correct positions. So maybe we'll get lucky once again. Okay, that does something. Come on. Yeah, okay. 
I much more of a visual person than like sort of being able to logically, mathematically suss that out if that makes sense. So that works for me. Okay, then that goes to the lever. The lever we switch on. Okay, and we are powering parts of the island. I gotta remember this for the next time we record this, because I'm gonna forget. And it's gonna be confusing as hell. What is this? What is this? Something here. Okay, can't seem to interact with it. Also gotta pay attention to the floor as well. Got a boarded up, what is that? Is that a painting or is it a boarded up window? Okay, let's follow the power line. Through the room. This room seems pretty simplistic, all things considered. Okay, we come over to this fella. Switch, 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 and switch. A swish and a flick. Okay, that goes to this uh, sonograph or whatever you would call it. Oh. Does this not work? Inventory object found a screwdriver. Still good to always check and see if there's like any little hidden part of this. A screwdriver. What do I use the screwdriver for? Looks like part of the machine is missing. So we need wiring here or something in order to turn this on. Uh, do we have anything to unscrew? I don't quite remember. This looked like it had some stuff in it, but I guess it doesn't matter either. Uh, there's something on the wall over there. Can't seem to interact with it. A screwdriver. I'm assuming that won't work on the safe. No. I'm assuming that won't work on whatever this thing is. No. Hmm. <laughs> Do we need to unscrew anything? I'm trying to remember. I don't remember having to unscrew anything. Can we get a rug on the ground, which looks weird? I don't know what this is. Can't unscrew it. What are you? Cannot seem to interact with that whatsoever. Hmm. Got a box here, got that, but that does nothing. Did we need to unscrew anything? What the heck did we need to unscrew? <laughs> so once again, I'm like, my brain is, is kind of like wondering, okay, is whatever we're looking for in here? Or do we need to backtrack to a previous part of the level? There's also this weird thing here, like jutting out, but I can't seem to interact with that. Maybe it's just a weird part of the wall. Yeah, like, do I need to take this back and do something else with a previous part of this level? Or is everything that we're trying to solve in this very room? I just don't know. Okay, where does this go? Back into the elevator? Hmm. Okay, let's go check the rest of this room. I'm really curious as to what this puzzle cube is for. Since we can take it out of the book. And I feel like there was some other stuff in here we had not interacted with. Like, we haven't, we still haven't done these two things, right? So maybe it's something over here. I can't see a way to operate it. Hmm. The screws don't seem to do anything. Is that, is that a code there? 1795. This doesn't seem to be working. 1795. Okay, what are you for, screwdriver? What are you for? I just don't know. 
place token here. Let's go upstairs real quick. Yeah, it's weird because, like, the last place that we were just in did not seem like it was... Didn't seem like it was big enough to be its own, like, level. You know what I mean? Okay, what is the, what is the deal with this book? I really want to know. So if we take a look at this, there's still nothing going on, right? It's got this icon. We just saw this icon, a metal object. Where did we just see this? I'm going to plug it in real quick just to see if anything else changes. Okay, and then you can open this book. The Great Con. Okay, how do I close the book? Yeah, what is the deal with this book? And there's nothing on the table, right? Hmm. <laughs> okay. We just saw this icon. I don't think it's going to go to it, but I also want to find out where that was. Was it in the room with the tree? I feel like I would have tried everything, though, no? Okay, let's just double check real quick. <laughs> okay. So back in here. Now is the clock still... The clock's moved again. The only thing that I can think of is that this is real time. The clock's got to be moving real time. But then... Does that change anything? Because, like, over here, I swear... Something was placed in this drawer. Because I sw Wait, what the heck? The door is locked... Wait, what? No, but what about this? The door is locked tight? Okay, what about this? I'm so confused. Like, what is all this stuff? No screwdriver, huh? Hmm. Like, it would. It, there's clearly a reason it wants me to look at this. Yeah, what is the deal with this room? And then what is the deal with this one letter? It's got a key. Ugh. What is that? Son of a bee. Oh my god, okay, look at every single thing, dude. <laughs> you gotta stop missing, like, one tiny little thing. Okay, what is this? July 23rd. The house is turning in on itself, warped by the null. I find myself forever traveling in circles down corridors that turn back on themselves. I use the doorway machines to bypass the maze, but the crystals run low on energy. I must find a new power source soon or be forever trapped. Okay. Tell me there's something else going on with this. All right. Inventory object found a token. What in the hell? And it's got a square on it. I feel like there was something we needed to use the square for, was there not? Okay, and then does this open at all? Yeah, what's the deal with the clock? Also, can I take this? Ooh. I think I could unscrew this with the right tool. I cannot believe we are, like, figuring this out, like, considering how many how many rooms there are and how many options there are. This is insane to me. Okay, what is the deal with the clock, though? <sighs> I'm really, really, really curious what I'm missing about this. Like like I said, the only thing I can think of is that some of this is the, the hidden ending or whatever. Okay, so I think now we go to the room with the fortune teller. 
and then maybe we insert this token. But we've also got the electrical component too. Does the token fit in this? It doesn't... Oh, maybe? Okay. Inventory object found a crank wheel. He deceived you. This is what I. Okay. This is exactly what I thought was happening. Yeah. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh god. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. This is exactly what I thought was happening. Um. So, the craftsman sounds like he's trying to use us as a power source or something. He's trying to use us, because obviously he's using people, um, which seems to be obvious, right? So, I was like, okay, he he's probably evil. If there is a hidden ending, it's probably somehow subverting him, is what I would bet. And yeah, it definitely seems like we are on to the hidden ending sort of thing right now, which I would love to do. I mean, that would be super cool. I just don't know, obviously, how to do it. All right, um, still confused by this book. We need like a sphere or something. I mean, this doesn't go to this, right? And let's take a look at this. What is the deal? Oh, does this go to that first room? Yeah, if we can get the good ending, I'll be super happy with that. Okay. So now we've got runes all over the place as well. And then what else do we have? The electrical component. There's still this stuff that, that isn't workable. And then what was up here? That secret... Um, let's, I forget what that... Yeah, this is like from the first game, that rune or whatever. Am I supposed to do anything with these like runes at all? Am I supposed to look at them in a certain way? A lot of these are very similar to like, yeah, the first game. Um, you would have to match up these symbols. Okay, so someone's helping us, writing down paint. Maybe it's ourself. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, maybe this is, yeah, leading us back to the... Yeah, because I was going to say, I think this crank wheel fits on this. Yup. Okay, you go here. Where the heck does this go? Oh boy. Okay. So let's see if we got any writing in here. Doesn't look like it. What is this? Nothing in box one, two, three. These drawers all seem to be unlocked already. July 27th, that interfering friend of AS continues to ask questions, and I should like to ask a few of my own. How do they overcome the null? How much energy resides in that brilliant soul of theirs? Okay, this guy definitely wants my soul. It would take the last dregs of the energy I have stored to bring them here, but they might also be the key. I have no choice but to take the risk. Yeah, okay, so this guy wants my soul. That seems to be clear. Um, we keep finding just dead ends with notes, though. As far as I can tell, there doesn't seem to be... Unless it's got, like, a false bottom or something. It's weird that we can interact with this, but it just says that it's been opened already. Okay. And then what do we have over here? What the heck? 17. 
up, up. What is this? Plus one, plus five would be six. Plus four, plus three. Six plus seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Plus eleven, plus eight. We're doing like. Okay, I have no idea what this means. Thirty one. Oh my god, and 30. Oh boy. Okay. What the heck is all this? Uh, can we do anything with this over here first? Okay, that goes up and down, that goes up and down, that goes up and down. Doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, is there anything else on this? All right, so what is the deal with this? 17. Is it just a combination? Because we could do that like boom, boom. Hmm. My only thing is, like, it doesn't seem like this even has power, though. Is this thing powered up? Will we even get what we need? Um. And then what is going on with this? Does this correlate to the other one? Is the question. There's three things here. There's three things here. Look at this. 17, and it's going up this way. So what does that mean? A lap plus 11? Oh, you're switching to one or the other. Okay, I just realized that. 11 plus 3, 11, 12, 13, 14. 11, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so it should be 8, boop, and boop. Right? Because plus 8, plus 4 is 12, plus 5 is 17. Okay. Okay, so now we know that does that. All right, so let me go to this one. God, I hate math. <sighs> okay, so then it's going to be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's got to be the big numbers, right? 8, 16. Oh, these are multiplication. Okay. 8, 16, 24. Can't be that. So I think it's going to be 7 times 7, 14, 21. Can't be that either. 7, 14, 21, 28, 29, 30, 31. Think that's right? Okay. And then finally, we got the big boy. Oh boy. Okay, we gotta equal this to 30. Oh god, alright. Um, I am god awful when it comes to math, by the way. Um, let's see. 2 times 5 is 10. 
Plus 7 is 17. Plus 12 is 27, 28, 29. Minus 5 is 24. Okay, so that's not going to work. Okay, let's do 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Plus 7. Oh my god, my brain. <laughs> this is not what I want to do at this time of night. Ugh. I hate math puzzles. Uh, do I have a calculator? If I just had a cal, I could go grab my phone. Eight, uh, but I, I kind of want to, you know, do everything without hints or without anything. I would feel like a genius. Eight times two is sixteen. Plus seven is twenty-three. Right. Plus twelve. Thirty-five. Minus 17, 35 goes down to 25. That's still not going to be enough. All right, so we need a big number, I think. 8 times 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So 8 times 5 is 40. Let's go plus 4 is 44. Plus 3 is 47. Forty-seven minus seventeen is going to be thirty. Oh, we're so close! Oh boy! Oh boy! Eight times five: five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Plus four is forty-four. Plus three? No. Plus twelve. 56, 46, no, it's not going to work either. We need a smaller number than that. So maybe it's 8 times 2 is 16, plus 7 is 23, plus 12, 33, 34, 35. 17 plus 9. I mean, that's not going to work, but I'm just, I want to see what happens if it doesn't work. Oh my god. Why does it got to be this type of puzzle, man? <sighs> okay, so maybe it's 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Plus 7 is 17. Plus 12 is 27, 28, 29. Minus 5 is 24. No, that doesn't work either. <sighs> Plus 2, plus 9. Why does it have zeros if everything is just... Oh, because of the 12 and the 17. Bro, what is the magic combination here? Maybe we just... Do we just start... Maybe, can we go like through all of it? Like if we go from one side and then go to the other side? 2. Times 2 is 10. Plus 4 is 14. Plus 3 is 17. Okay, 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 4 is 8. Plus 12 is 20. Minus 5 is 15. Yes, yeah, so that's like we need a bigger number than that. So then 2 times 5 is 10. Plus 4. Let's try plus 7. No, let's try plus 4. 2 times 5 is 10. Plus 4 is 14. Plus 12. 26. Wait, we might have it. Plus 12, 26, minus 5 is 21, 
plus 9 is 30. Okay, that should be it. Yeah! Okay. Library? Okay. I'm assuming something has changed in the library. This game could get really scary, by the way, if they wanted to make it right now. Like if some guy was like chasing you down these halls or something. Okay, I can hear the faint hum of something. Oh, there's a phone ringing. Inventory object found a cross-shaped key. Um, okay. Does the cross-shaped key just go back to the room that we just came from? Wasn't there, like, the post office? Or wasn't there the boxes? Basically, all the boxes um, had that cross on top of it, right? That seems almost too easy, just to return and do that immediately. Oh, please don't tell me we're gonna have to solve like multiple ma math problems and crap over and over. Okay. I think I did that wrong. Inventory object found another token. Oh man, oh man. Okay, so we're definitely like on the secret ending path now, which is super cool. I'm so glad we found this naturally. I am so glad we found this naturally. Still got I feel like when when I quit this game and reload, it's gonna put me in some random room I've never seen before, and then it's gonna like give me three items that I've never seen before as well. So gotta gotta be mindful for that. But let's go ahead and plug this token in and see what it says. Yeah, because he's definitely wanting to take our soul. So if we keep going down the normal path, he's gonna like eventually grab our soul, and that's gonna be the bad ending, I think. I wonder if we can beat this now, or if it's going to go through two more cards. Inventory object found a crank handle. God, this writing is so creepy. Oh, okay, and it's more filled out. It's like a D20 down there. Oh, and it's going up here. Interesting. Why would it be going up here? There's nothing for us to do up here, except for that one book thing that I still would love to know what the heck is going on with that um why are you showing me up here is there something in where does this go a crank handle I am not sure where that goes the only thing is if we plug this in and there's somehow something new here now Hmm. 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 
A crank handle. Where does the crank handle go? That I do not know. So I think there's going to be two more... There might be two more stages of this because there was two more, like, tarot cards. Before we end this episode, I'm just trying to think. Where would this crank handle go? Was there anything else... Is there, a, is, there a, is there a sign to something? Oh. Okay. Back into this room. Just out of curiosity. It's a display of some kind, but it's, but it's inactive. Okay, so it looks like it goes here somewhere. It's because we got the white paint. But I'm not entirely sure. It's a small, but it but isn't small steam engine, but isn't powered up. Does it, does it go here? Hmm, doesn't seem to go on anything. All right, well, I think... Oh, yeah, this is where... Oh, hold on. Yeah, that's what I was talking about before. Oh, my God. Okay. No, go back in. What you doing? Okay. Oh. Oh, so we make it a sphere. Oh. Man, I gotta end this episode, but like, all this is so interesting. <sighs> okay, so it says something is missing here. You would assume... Oh, we've got another gramophone over here, too. Okay, we'll end the episode here, because I'm not sure how much is left, but we're definitely on the secret ending, which makes me happy. Um, so, yeah, if you want to support what I do, check out the Patreon. Links at the top of the description below, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.